Hi, it's Nicole from Shiba Nails. And in this video, we're going to be demonstrating a dip acrylic fill. What I'm showing here is that I'm just gonna be filling in in the grown out area. If you're changing colors that are really dramatic, different colors, you might wanna remove the entire product and start from the beginning. But in this case, I'm just gonna be doing fill with a similar color I have on a regular pro pink, but I'm gonna be filling in with one of our glitter pinks. And so what you need to do is file the entire surface of the nail, not where the grown out area is, just where product is left, and just thin it out. Since you're gonna be adding uh, a finishing layer over that, you don't want it to get too thick. So once you've gone ahead and filed the entire surface of the product only, with usually, I use about a 180 grit file, Next, what you want to do is prepare the grown out area for the product. So what I do first is I use, I use an ingrown toenail file because it has files on the inside and you can easily sanitize it and it's reusable. So you're going to go ahead and gently push back your entire, entire cuticle area. This is a really important part of the product application. This is where a lot of time if you have any, any lifting is where it will be. So once you go ahead and push back the cuticle area because this is your natural nail that has grown out, I use a really, really soft file maybe like a 240 grit to go ahead and file the entire surface area of the grown out portion so next we're going to go ahead and start the product application this is step one which is the dip acrylic prep it is a nail dehydrator and it really does prevent lifting of the nail I applied it only to the grown out area you can if you're really prone to lifting apply it to the entire nail surface So next we're gonna go ahead and start step two of the dip quilt system, which is the base and powder. So what I use is a manicure brush just to get any loose filings off the nail. And then I'm gonna go ahead, because this is a fill, I'm only gonna be doing the first application of the powder right in the grown out area. So you just apply the base only to where the product has grown out, just in that area. And because I'm not covering the entire nail, this particular step, I like to use a spoon just so I kind of get it right in the part where I use the base. And I just go ahead and sprinkle that right over the part of the nail that I went ahead and put the base. Now this, because this is a glitter powder that I'm using, I take an extra step that I might not do with other powders. I use just a clean acrylic nail brush because it's nice and soft and it won't take off too much of the product, but it will remove some of the loose glitter that's on there and that keeps the glitter from getting on the brush of my base and kind of contaminating it so that all my following nails come out with a little bit of glitter so when I went ahead and did that I'm gonna go ahead and apply the base to now the entire nail because at the cuticle area you really only need that about as thick as one coat of nail polish you only have to do the fill of the grown-out area just one application so now I'm going to go ahead and apply the base to the entire surface of the nail and then once again I'm gonna go ahead and dip now my whole nail into the powder now after you've done this I like again because it's a, a glitter I use a clean acrylic brush with the soft bristles uh, dry to go ahead and remove any loose glitter before I do my next application of powder I sometimes do this too if it's a really really dark color powder so that I don't get the dark color on the brush of the base so then one more time I'm gonna go over the entire nail surface with the base you want to be careful to get all on the free edge of the nail and close to the cuticle but without touching the skin and with more practice you will get better at getting it just where you need on the nail but if you do get a little bit of base on the skin it's absolutely can be fixed I go ahead and use a cuticle stick and try and take off whatever you can before you go ahead and dip it into the powder so once again because it's a glitter I'm gonna be using the acrylic brush to dust off any of the loose glitter that remains on the nail and taking a real good look at the nail before I do my final layer just to make sure that I don't have any base on the skin so before I do my final layer of the base, I inspect the nail for any imperfection that I might see. And I do see a bump. I could tell that I hit my nail on the bottom of the jar when I dipped it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth that out and I check out the cuticle area and just see if I have any of the base touching the skin. And I gently use a real soft file to smooth that portion out. So once I've smoothed out the nail and I've prepared it for the final layer of the base, I'm going to apply the base to the entire nail again paying special attention to the cuticle area as well as the free edge and you do want to get a nice even layer over the entire surface of the nail and then at this point I'm going to make sure I move my base out of the way I'm going to move on to step three which is my dip acrylic activator and just with one spray 
You spray the nail and it will instantly dry the base surface of the nail. So once you've used the step three of our system, the activator, and dried the base, I use a really soft file to smooth out the surface of the nail. At this point you can do any shaping that you want to do, any final shaping to the nail and get out imperfections. Again here I'm using a 240 grit file. You don't want to use something too harsh that will break down the layers that you've applied too much so keep something smooth and then I go ahead and finish it off with a buffer block to get it really nice and smooth before we move on to step four. So once you've smoothed out the nail surface and you've achieve the shape of the nail that you want, we move on to step four, which is the dip acrylic top. This is a super shiny top that was perfect finish. It seals in the product for long lasting nails and it'll stay on until your next fill or until you want to take it off and change the color. So you simply brush it onto the entire surface of the nail and it actually dries really quickly. So once the top is completely dry, this is an optional step, but I like to conclude all my nail services with a really nourishing cuticle oil. This is our botanical oil. This scent is sweet apple, which is actually my favorite, and I apply it to the entire cuticle area. It enhances the natural nail growth of the nail and keeps your, so your cuticles really soft and supple. So that's all there is to doing a simple dip acrylic fill. This particular color is one of our new ones called Sugar Pink. If you have any questions about our products, please contact us at Sheba at ShebaNails.com.